Virgo. Welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, welcome. Please smash that like button and do subscribe if you enjoy my readings. Keep in mind, this is a general love reading, so some of the messages may or may not be for you. This is a channel for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, but all signs are welcome. Okay, Virgo, let's get into your reading and see what the messages are for the month of May 2023. Virgo's messages, May 2023. And personal reading links are below in the description box. Okay, Virgo. Um, so you've got st stabbed in the back. Somebody here, okay. Heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, a shocking attack. Okay, also sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. Okay. Um, these messages are so contradictory. I like you. Uh, someone likes you. F f uh, maybe flirting with you in May. Wants to date you. Um, and then not today. <laughs> not dealing. Hurt. Avoiding conversation call. Uh, avoiding a person. Boundaries. Still angry. So, um, hmm. Virgo. Someone who may have um, caused some conflict or some pain. Um, or that you're in separation with right now, um, looks like this person is stalking you. <laughs> okay. Likes you, but it looks like you, um, hmm, don't want to deal with this. You're, you don't care if romance is blooming with someone who may have hurt you. Um, why are they watching you after either stabbing you in the back? Why are they watching you if, um, you're in separation? Okay, I don't know. It's because I feel like somebody here, um, they like you. They like you, but why? Why is there separation? They want to date you, but like, what happened here, Virgo? Okay, let me just try to get a few more messages, Virgo, and then we're gonna get into it. I feel like I'm gonna do the Celtic cross for you guys. Change it up a little bit. Let's see. Okay. So reconciliation. Okay. Hmm. Well, whether there was a stabbing in the back or not, there is some kind of separation. And I feel like during a separation, someone here is keeping an eye on you. They are really interested in you. Um, they may not be interested in anybody else at this time. But it's someone here, you or this person, there's like no communication or somebody's still angry. Okay, but it looks like someone from your past may be returning to your life in May. And we'll get into more of that as we go. Um, that may be someone in the past that you don't want to connect with or reconnect with past life relationship. Yeah. So it looks like, um, I'm just going to say this. Okay, Virgo, you know, it just feels to me like, um, if something happened in a relationship in the past where, um, someone felt hurt by some kind of separation, um, I do feel like that person is still interested in you and they're watching you and I, I feel like they may be receiving other calls or um, texts or conversations, other people trying to reach out to them and they're avoiding other people, okay? Because this person feels like they're really like stuck on you, okay? Maybe it's um, a residual from yesterday's reading. If you didn't listen to that, I would suggest go back and listen to it. But let's take a look and see what the past messages are here. Okay. Past. Look at the past for Virgo. Okay. So the past, there was some flirting, um, happy times, good fun times in the past, um, enjoying, indulging, just celebrating the moment, a lot of communication. Um, very light though. The energy is very light with the three of cups. It's nothing serious. It's more along the lines of maybe it was a friends of benefits or situationship maybe you were in. Um, but it, it's, it just looks like in the past there was just, just having a good time is what I feel. Or um, it could have been another person having a good time, but the overall message was it, it looks like there wasn't anything serious. This is like happy hour, you know, get together for happy hour. And then, you know, go your separate ways and then reconnect again for happy hour and go, not necessarily like specifically happy hour, but just that energy of, you know, hey, let's get together and have a good time. That kind of thing in the past. Okay. Nothing horrible, but definitely non-committal. Okay. Let's take a look at the current 
What is the current message? Okay, current energy for Virgo. Okay. Wow. So Virgo, it's like you got the four of pentacles in the reverse, Virgo. This is like you're not holding on to anything right now. That's what I feel like is going on. You've released. What's challenging you? What's crossing? What's the hard part about this release for Virgo? Okay. Oh, yeah. So the difficult, the challenge, the difficulty is um, transitioning out of something here. It's hard for you, but it's a benefit to you to do that. Um, maybe you were in something in the past that just wasn't, it didn't become like, a, like what you really wanted. I mean, it was good for a little bit, but um, it looks like you probably left it or you were forced to leave it. Okay. So looks like right now your current energy with the four of pentacles in the reverse is like you're no longer holding on to something. Um, but you're, you're, the challenge for you is to come out of your comfort zone and get yourself into your life. Whatever it is that you're doing, you're getting to a better place in your life at this time. Okay. Um, I don't know. Are you grieving something? Are you healing from something? Are you, you've let something go that was just, you know, fun times and decided that, you know, you wanted more or you need more from out of a relationship. Okay. What's the root? Like, what is the root? What's driving you? Okay. Yeah. You're standing up for yourself. So, I mean, it doesn't feel harsh. It just kind of feels Virgo like, you know, you, it looks like what's driving you now is you're just pushing back. You've got your boundaries up. You're just pushing back, um, in your life, you know, like this, whatever, if you have anybody like kind of trying to cross your boundaries or whatever, you're standing up for yourself here, which is good. Um, you're protecting your space, your sacred space and, um, standing up for your beliefs and your convictions. You know, it, it's, I kind of feel like some of you kind of feel like you made a good decision here, but like I said, Virgo, I do feel like there's somebody here who, um, wants to reconcile with you they want to reconnect with you in may i feel like this keeps coming out and we'll see we'll see who it might be if they show up or what their energy is okay what's crowning on you what's coming down okay wow the magician this is beautiful so the energy coming towards you, like, well, coming, coming upon, over you is to manifest, okay? New beginnings, a new start. We do have Gemini Virgo here. Let me see. Give me a clarifying card for the magician. Uh, this is just basically like, it's time now for you to manifest what you want. That's what I hear. Lay all your cards out on the table. Yeah. And be honest with yourself, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Um, but that's you to be honest with yourself to really take a look at you know it's time Virgo this is what I feel like crowning down on you is like the blessing coming down you know what's up above so below you know standing up for yourself your convictions your beliefs and it feels like being very focused turning your visions into reality really looking at you know um, what it is that you want looking down really taking stock being real with yourself and then taking steps to create that for yourself, create those situations, create something for yourself that you feel like, um, you know, will match your energy, right? Uh, whether that's a love relationship or in your career or just your life in general, trying to kind of like get yourself in alignment with what it is that you need and what you, you know, what your desires are. Now let's see what's going um, in the near future going to happen here the energies in the near future for Virgo. Okay. So death card is here and the king of cups and they both came out sideways. So, you know, Virgo, I feel like there's a king of cups coming towards you, which generally the king of cups would be cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, and the death card would represent Scorpio energy, but this person is kind of sideways. Um, so this king of cups is coming towards Virgo sometime towards the end of May, the middle to the end of May. Um, I feel like this King Cups is kind of on the verge of like they're on the fence here because it's sideways. So they got, so basically this person, like they have all this empathy and this, um, they have all this empathy, but I feel like this King of Cups is not fully healed yet. 
um, but they don't want to let go because that death card in the it, like sideways is kind of like on the verge of letting go, but still kind of suffering. So you may receive, and it just when I tell you when I mention the sign, it could be any sign. It's just that they come in in this water energy where their emotions. You know, if if both of these cards were upright, I would then just say, well, the King of Cups has fully healed and is transitioned on and is moving away. Um, and if it was in the reverse, totally, I would say the King of Cups is very codependent and suffering, and you know that can't live without you energy. It's a little bit of both. So I I kind of feel like this King of Cups is. I, I, I don't know that I, I see them appearing towards the end of May and um, they're they're kind of like not sure what to do now if you were in a connection with someone in the past that you ended something or it just was kind of frivolous and nothing was going on this king of cups maybe you so Virgo you may have already begun the process of healing and you have transitioned you have grieved and you are moving forward with your life where I feel like whoever this person is still kind of present going forward in may maybe coming towards you in may um with a little bit of an energy of i love you but i know i need to heal but i i'm not ready to let you go but i know i need to and it's a little bit of like okay well why are you here yeah you know that kind of thing like let me see i want to get another card for this energy because I feel like this king of cups is kind of suffering now this could be the start of that or they could be coming to the end of it but let's see what else spirit wants to tell you okay king of swords hi king of swords always showing up in the readings Gemini cancer I'm sorry oh maybe it's a Gemini cancer cusp um, Gemini Libra Aquarius so they're showing up here like they're very clear-headed you know what I mean? Like their their thoughts, their strategies, their plans, their communication. I feel like they're going to be very truthful in some type of like conversation or try to talk to you um, about like, you know, mm, I don't know. You got to go back to yesterday's reading because I kind of feel like this might be a little too soon for some of you. Um, it's, it's basically like it feels like this this person whether they are an air sign or a water sign whatever sign they are in the energetic stance they kind of are like their emotions are not they're confused by how they feel their emotions are confusing them their thoughts you know their intellect the things that are like they're clear crystal clear visions and they're clear-minded about you know in their communication but i feel like they will communicate in some way you know that um that they're they're kind of hurting or they're, they're trying to heal or they're trying to do their best you know to um you know let the past go and you know maybe to reconcile and start over that kind of energy but i don't know i feel like you know when a relationship is done it's not just like in time but it's also like in the feelings like you just know when you cross over right you just know even the relation so for you know like for an example a relationship could have ended for example like 20 years ago but the emotions you know took a lot longer to catch up to and accept that something was over that's pretty much how it works the head always goes before the heart the heart the head always says this isn't this is or isn't going to work out for me if it's if it's a relationship that's just not working out the head is so clear and the head knows it's the heart that is always lagging behind so when someone says to themselves in their head yes i know i need to end this why can't i end it it's because you're not giving your emotions time to catch up and accept what the head has already come to realize and that's why when something ends and you're still feeling that attachment it's because the emotions take a long time because the emotions can't understand things the way the intellect can you know the emotions they're just feelings and feelings just take time to kind of settle down that's all right and i feel like with this person they're very clear about um well their emotions are not clear Okay, their emotions have not settled down yet. So their emotions, I feel like, are driving them back to try to reconcile with you. Okay, because they're they're having a hard time with the emotions. But what is the head clear about? 
what is this person's head? All right, well, they're, they're pretty clear that their head is suffering a lot of anxiety. They're having a lot of mental stress, mental anxiety. I feel like this person is affected in all ways. I feel like this person um, really stressing without you, and they're kind of watching you. You know, um, they're focusing outward. They're not really focusing on themselves, and they need to be focusing on themselves. Um and heal that energy you know um it's kind of like heal before you deal and i feel like this person is struggling with healing and you know there's this old saying you know never go back to the person who stabbed you to fix the wound you have to you have to go back to the manufacturer to heal you which in my opinion is god you know so this person i feel like is probably Oh, it just gives me a vibe, you know, like they appear at the end of May or somewhere in May to try to get you to fix their sadness or their grief and to kind of prevent them or hopefully they're hoping you'll prevent them or help them before they get to the Ten of Swords, which is like complete ending, you know, um, or hitting rock bottom. I feel like this person is afraid to hit, hit rock bottom. Yeah, okay, that's some craziness right there. Let me take a look and see you and your advice here, Virgo. What is Virgo's advice? Okay, wow, Virgo, you've got the Page of Swords. So, yep, and the Knight of Pentacles. So, I'm hearing, watch out. <laughs> um, Virgo, your advice here with the Page of Swords is to communicate, communicate if you decide... Because you do have not today. And, and that, you know, that could be the other person that just doesn't want to talk to anybody else because they're struggling right now. Um, but it could also be you saying, no, not today. No, I just can't talk right now. Virgo, I feel like your advice here, and it's, it's, it's just advice, suggestion. I certainly am not going to tell you what to do. But your advice here is to, if you do talk to this person, to be direct and crystal clear in your communication with them. Okay? Um, you can ask them what's going on if you don't know, but you can ask them for the truth, but it's also to give them the truth that um, things are going to take time. You know, um, you might tell this person or you could possibly tell this person, I know you're hurting and I'm very sorry, you know, um, and, I, and, and I wish you well, you know, but I, I feel like, and it just feels so much like yesterday's, the ending of yesterday's reading. I, it feels like you might tell you might make like a good author a good offer in faith and just kind of be like listen you you really i feel like there's there's things that need to be worked on and if we're going to try to make something work here um you you gotta like be willing to put in the hard work you have to show up as someone who's reliable and you have to be patient you can't uh, like i don't feel like virgo you want someone to just come back in to help you lick their wounds for either mistakes they've made um, or mistakes you've made. I feel like, Virgo, you're well aware that your mistakes, you know, and, and having time and distance, I feel like you've, you've been given the time to kind of reevaluate your role in things. And I don't feel like you're anybody's like F boy whisperer, F girl whisperer. I don't feel like you're the person that this person needs to be coming to get the band-aids for for the things that they've done they've got and i feel like you might say that to them you know and also tell them well okay if, if you want to come back or if you want to try to reconcile you know or try to work on something here that maybe we both have to go to counseling or we both have to sit down and and do some actual work here and work on things you know um let me take a look. After you say this, if you have this conversation with this person, what will their energy be? What will this person's energy be? Wow. Okay. Ten of Wands. Hmm. Yeah, this person will make a decision here to uh, end the burden, end the struggle. Yep, there's your sign. Um, yeah, I do feel like they were, will be willing to compromise. Absolutely. And, and so like Virgo, this is really just about you holding someone accountable for their stuff and holding yourself accountable for your own. And that is if this is a relationship that you want to reconcile with. If you do not want to reconcile with this person, you could always just say, I'm sorry, you know, um, 
here, have some Bitcoin. Good luck with everything. I wish you all the best. And will they still make a decision to um, complete the, the cycle or the struggle within themselves? Of course. And maybe you could wish them the best with somebody else. It's really, you know, it, it's really just up to you. The one thing I noticed here, Virgo, and I have to be honest, like, there's no other cup cards except for what was in the past, which was a very light cup card energy and um, the King of Cups, which is kind of sideways. So it feels to me, Virgo, like you're just all business here. <laughs> you're just all business. Okay. So, whoa, a bunch of cards just flew out here. Okay, yeah. But I do feel like this person is gonna do the work. They are gonna make the effort do the work um and be honest and truthful with you about that and tell you like if you tell them this is what we have to do like this is what needs to be done in order for this to work because whatever we were doing before doesn't work and that we can't have that narrative keep playing out in the relationship anymore this things need to be different and, and you can give them kind of like the blueprint of what you need and tell them and i feel like this person you know will be willing to you know, be truthful and engage and tell you that, um, yeah, I will, I'll make that compromise, whatever you need me to do, you know, um, in order to, you know, save this relationship. But again, you know, I, I don't know, I have to keep reiterating this. I think it's because for a lot of you in the chat, you're, you're often here listening to these readings, but you don't want somebody from the past back. So, you know, you know, I don't, I know there's some of you that do want to reconcile and heal a relationship, and th this would be for you, okay? This would be for you, not for anybody that's already in a happy relationship or anybody who's like, nope, don't want the past back. Okay, that's perfectly fine. Um, hopes and fears for you, Virgo. Okay. Hmm. Independent. Don't need no, don't, I don't need no man. I don't need no woman, right, Virgo? You, I feel like for you, um, like you're hoping, so it's a little bit of both. You're hoping that you could be single and maintain your, your solo pleasures and maintain your independence and, you know, continuously build upon what you have, you know, you've laid a foundation already and now you're building upon that exponentially brick by brick by brick and getting stronger in your house of Virgo. Okay. But I also feel like in some ways you kind of fear that you might be single for the rest of your life. And you know what? It, it's, it, it's normal, right? Everybody feels that way. You know, you're getting older or you just kind of like, oh man, you know, what do I do? Do I just like take a chance and try to make something work here with somebody? Um, maybe because you love this person or because you might feel like, you know, you're at the end of the line here. How much longer are you going to live? Is this really your person? Is this worth it? If somebody's coming in, Virgo, who is sincere and you feel like enough time has passed for them to kind of like, you know, um, learn something or at least be willing to make a sacrifice or compromise with you and is willing to make the change but they're coming in with sincerity about that then you certainly can give them a chance if you like um but if you are just kind of like i just don't see it because you know virgo i'm not there with you and none of no, nobody else here is you have to be able to discern that on your own okay and and really be able to tell if somebody's coming in with that sincere offer and you know i feel like that's what you need to be looking out for here which is what i'm saying you need to be very discerning and looking to see if somebody's coming in with a good faith offer this pentacle is tangible this is something you can touch and feel and and taste and smell it's not just lip service the the knight of pentacles is nothing to do with lip service he's not a talker <laughs> Like Knight of Pentacles is not a talker. He's not lustful and crazy and wild. Um, he's not coming in with like little drops of love or anything like that. The Knight of Pentacles comes in with like, here, I'm serious. It's it's the knight that is the most serious. It's If you're going to have any knights in your life, it's the one who you want, right? And that is what you need to see, okay? You don't need to see a playgirl or a playboy. Or you don't need to see somebody coming in with, you know, who's just going to romance you and and all that stuff. You don't need someone who's going to come in and talk up a good game. You need someone who's going to come in and, and, like, give you something real. And you have to be able to discern that. And that is totally your advice. But I also feel like your goal for yourself 
if you decide that you don't want to give this a chance, it is good. Like you're, you're going, you're on the right path, Virgo. You're building whatever you're doing, um, whatever you're trying to um, just... For some of you, this could have a lot to do with the aesthetic, whatever you are doing for yourself. You know, you're looking amazing uh, in, on a physical side. Your um, your money might be getting better, or it is getting better, in, even in these times. Um, you know, you're taking care of yourself, and that's what the Nine of Pentacles is. This is you. You know, this is all about being self-sufficient, having your fun financial gains, doing things on your own that you enjoy. Okay, um... And even just maybe even a little bit of some luxury in self-care or taking trips and things like that. Like you're on a good path, okay? Let's take a look and see the overall outcome for the reading. Overall outcome, this situation. Wow. Wow. Big reveal here. Judgment. Call to action. Uh, they just told me a call to action but um this definitely i feel like you're probably it, it looks like you'll reconcile with this person but um you know it's judgment like it's not just oh let's just get back together and that's it no this is like this is like big revelations coming out like a, a final decision like a wake-up call here and you you get this clarity if you know what you need to do um let me see and you and this person i mean the reading is very beautiful for those of you who are you know in this in this place in your life with you know a past person i, I feel like all this truth comes out things get revealed like nothing is hidden anymore this is like um this feels like li lineage like everything from the start up until this point everything comes out of uh, out of the wash you know what's what's hidden will always come out in the laundry right it always comes whatever's in the dark always comes out in the light and i feel like whatever was in the dark in this relationship or this connection with whomever um it all comes out into the light look even that flag to me that like just looking at that i just feel like that's like the red cross this is like aid this is like help this is like um rescue this this is like and with that trumpet it's very triumphant with the angel you know it just feels like everything comes out everything open and there's honesty and truth and i mean i love the energy i love it for this connection uh, it just feels to me virgo like you are you're in a good place for yourself or at least you'll be getting there yeah so six of cups so i'm, I'm definitely seeing um some kind of reconciliation or a reunion with someone um, from your past, definitely. And that's three times that showed up. Um, judgment is a Scorpio card. And I believe the Six of Cups. Yes, it's also Scorpio. So you might have a connection with a Scorpio. They don't have to be sun. They could have it anywhere in their chart. Um, but they're coming in with like a very watery. Remember how I said there wasn't any cups and now you're ending with a cup here. So apologies. And this is sincerity. This is beautiful sincerity. Now listen, Virgo, I want you to know I'm this is a general reading, okay? So at the end of May, like I don't want to tell you not to get your hopes up, but I want you to I want you to get your hopes up when this after this actually happens. Okay? After somebody comes in and and this all plays out the way you feel like it's playing out this way where they're coming in sincere, that's what you need. And and they tell you yes and you start seeing signs of that, then you can start getting your hopes up. Don't get your hopes up before this energy plays out because then you don't need any more. Just keep staying on the path that you're staying on. Okay? Just keep doing your thing. And this is not someone who is in a relationship with anybody else. This Nine of Pentacles is someone who's in a relationship with self and very happy with self. You know, the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse can be a card of someone who uh, maybe works too much or they're like a jealous person or they have a lot of financial setbacks or there's envy. Virgo, you are focused on self. You're not even looking. And if you are, stop looking at anybody else comparing yourself to anyone else she is out here all by herself doing her and that is where you need always to keep the focus on self to focus on god your higher power whomever right and keep doing you okay i love that um i love this celtic cross because i really like this message for you because it feels it's pretty straightforward virgo i mean 
I can tell you that this energy is going to, you know, happen to you, but it really depends on what you do and don't do. That's how it works. Okay. Your guidance here though, and your advice overall is to be truthful and honest with this person with what you're going to need from them. And you have to speak up. You can't stifle. You have to tell them, this is what I expect in this relationship going forward. And I am not taking anything less than I deserve. Right. And, um, if this person is not willing to meet you where you are, then they're not ready. It doesn't make them a bad person. They, they could say, yeah, I want to. No, they have to prove it. Okay. If not, you keep doing you. And obviously there's always, um, there's always a lid for every pot, Virgo. So don't worry about being single for the rest of your life. Like that's just a huge fear. I think you might have, um, I don't know exactly how old you are, but you know, or that you may never meet someone or, you know, try not to sit in that energy because that's just not going to help you. Okay. You've got interference. So an external party is intruding on this relationship. Okay. Hmm. But this is your true love. Okay, there could be somebody else. Like I said, somebody else is trying to reach your person, whoever your person is here. And they're like, you know, talk to the hand, not today, Satan. They don't want to talk to this person. This person is having an awakening. The thing is, they are just completely, their thoughts are completely on you. Even almost maybe to the point of obsession, but just gripped by thoughts of you. Undergoing a spiritual transformation um, as well, which is great. Because we all... We all change. We all go through these, these transformations and transitions in our lives and healing. Okay. Um, Virgo, I just kind of feel like, um, there is somebody here who's like willing to do whatever it takes, right? I don't, f I'm not picking up the energies that somebody's just coming back in here to get their wounds licked by you or anything. I, I feel like it could be, um, that is what kind of pushes them towards you but with your honesty and your truth and your kindness and your compassion I feel like um you know you might tell this person whether you're with me or not you you need to get into healing you need to go see a counselor you need to go you need to go read some books you need to connect with God you know because that's where I'm at that's where I'm at you know and I, I like and if someone wants to be with you, they got to kind of meet you there. You know what I mean? If they're coming in and they can't stop thinking about you, like sometimes people will come in like because they're having stress and anxiety. They have an anxious attachment or whatever, and they just reach out and put their claws in and then they feel better instantly because they've talked to the other person or because the other person hasn't abandoned them. But that's not a reason to be together, you know, because sometimes when that happens, then that person feels better or another person feels better and then they go away again because they got their fix. Does that make sense? No, no, you're not a fix. No one should be a fix to you. Um, this person, if they are obsessed, they need to kind of take a look at maybe they have some attachment issues. Okay. And maybe they have an attachment to you or they, they just get, um, um, they, they could be someone who kind of like they get a they have like anxiety when someone's not around them. And then when that person is around them, their anxiety lessens and they feel better. And then they don't need that person. So then they become avoidant. And then they kind of dance back and forth in this. If you don't, if you don't know much about the attachment styles, go into my podcast tab here on my YouTube channel. And I've got the attachment styles listed in there. And you can listen to that and try to understand that better if you've never heard that before. But if you have, yeah, I kind of feel like that's a little bit of what's going on here. Let's see what this person's hidden truth is. Like what's going on? Maybe it'll confirm what I'm saying or, okay. Well, they definitely want you. We know that. <laughs> um, they want to tell you how they feel. Hmm. Okay. So, I don't know if that's something that they've done before. Maybe they have, and they, they want to talk about it again, they're, how they're, they're feeling at this time. Um, they want to tell you that they like they feel that desire for you still. Um, if they haven't done that before, this might be a little bit of like, wow, they want to talk about feelings. So, okay. Um, okay. So this person does have a very strong physical thing to you, for sure, Virgo. Um, there's no denying that. There is a physical, uh, strong physical... <laughs> You might, if you created a soul tie with this person, don't think you're the only one who's struggling to um, 
get away from that, maybe that, uh, that particular kiss or that time you spent together in an intimate setting. Don't think that this person isn't feeling that way for you still because I feel like that they are. But you came closer than anyone. Hmm. To what? Okay, that could be a very physical expression. Um, I don't know, something, you know, so if you've had a physical connection with this person, there could be something that um, you did that no one else ever made them feel that way before. Um, and then apart from that, in maybe an intimate, emotionally intimate expression, um, no one else ever got as close, or they never let anybody as close to them as they did you. Um, no matter what happened in the past, there's definitely, like, I feel there was definitely a soul tie of some sort created. And soul ties are really hard to break. They're very hard to break. They take a long time to get out of that. Um, all right, let me see. That's why it's really good not to create soul ties with people who, um, who aren't going to, who, who aren't ready to go the distance. And when I say a soul tie, I mean you're laying down with that person. Be very careful, especially women, especially the, the ladies. Okay. I wish things could be different. I've buried myself in work to forget you. Yeah, it's not working. Because this person might have days off and then they're thinking about you. I couldn't let you get close to me. Yeah, I mean, a lot of stuff going on. This person needs to get some healing here for sure. And, and you know, you're not, like I said, you don't be anybody's therapist. You can have compassion and empathy for someone and then direct them to the proper sources to get what they need. Or you can set an example, but don't do it for them. Don't ever do, like, this is an adult you're dealing with. And adults, you, you can redirect people, but you don't do that for them. Because trust me, if that ship sinks... And you're on that ship trying to keep it afloat. You're going down with the ship, Virgo. You may have already gone down with the ship and, and you've saved yourself, right? Don't do it again. All right, this person might have lied to you. So there's a regret that they, for any lies that they've told to you or any kind of omissions of truth or, or deceit of any kind. This person's definitely, they got some regrets here. They want to feel that way again. So this here... It feels to me that when I feel that way, like again, is the Three of Cups, where it was joyous and things were easy and there was a lot of positivity and happiness, okay? They're missing that. This person, I will tell you, like they might have this thing going on with them where they might have this, uh, what's the word? You know, the Three of Cups energy is good to experience with someone always. Um, or with other people always, but it's even better when it's with someone that there's a true love bond and there's a commitment to a relationship between the two of you, not necessarily to each other, but a commitment to the relationship, committing to making the relationship work, right? Um, and I kind of feel like this person doesn't quite get it just yet. You know, I do. They want to feel this way again, and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but these are their desires, their, their feelings, okay? Um, and I feel like they do. They want to have that joyous, that happiness. Uh, whatever you guys, had, the times that you had together, could have been the three times or whatever times you guys had together that were just so much fun and made everything better. And that's always a great thing to have in a relationship. Relationship shouldn't be a struggle. They should be, you know, spending more time and, and, you know, cultivating these happy moments and these positive moments with each other. And if that's not happening... Obviously, it did. Obviously, it did. For some, it could have been three years ago, three months ago, three weeks ago. Um, but yeah, this person does love you. Okay. Well, that's very sweet. You know, love is there, uh, Virgo. Don't, you know, love is the love was the love is still there. The person still loves you. Okay. Let me see what other messages there are here for you from whoa. Okay, yeah, lusty, fiery spirit. There's the Knight of Wands there. So, you know, this person has that energy. Like, uh, no matter what, I don't care if this person turns into like a spiritual angelic being with a halo on their head. They're human and they have a very lustful, fiery spirit. And that's not a bad thing. It's only a bad thing if they're doing that with you and 10 other people. Okay, we all want a partner, <laughs> right? Who has that lustful, fiery spirit for us, right? And, and, 
does this person have this for you? Absolutely. You know, um, I don't, I think it's really important, especially for the ladies, if you're dealing with a, a masculine or for the feminines, if you're dealing with a masculine who has a very lustful, fiery spirit that doesn't make them a bad person, you know, um, you know, the, a human is going to do what a human does, right? Um, the, the issue I feel like is, okay, well, if they had that with me and we have that, you know, we're dedicated to each other and there's nobody else in the picture, sure. You know, rabbit energy all day long, as much as we can. Nothing wrong with that's wonderful. But when it's like, okay, me and then three other people or someone else interfering the relationship, that's a no. That's because not even, not like apart from that just being deceptive, it's dirty. I mean, it's like, hello, are you bringing diseases into the house? Like that is disgusting. I don't care how clean somebody says they are. Some of those some of those diseases like they can show up in weird ways and very much unbeknownst to another person like it's not even clean and then like no okay so your message also here is look at something differently sometimes you have to let go of old notions even though you may feel stuck it's just an illusion try seeing the situation from a positive perspective there is a silver lining to everything. A slight change in view can and will make the predicament easier. This feels like Pisces energy for me. This feels like the hanged man. So use your wisdom, Virgo. Use your wisdom. That's the message I'm getting here. Um, in making any kind of decision in your life, it, it, whatever it is going forward, start getting wise. And if that's basically like start, start making decisions based on your head, you know? Um, logical decisions um, be careful with because I just like it's not bad to make decisions from the heart but I just feel like here Virgo you know your heart can lead you astray sometimes you should always protect your heart and use your head with good guidance that you have like whether that's understanding like reading scripture all the answers are in there or whatever it is that you stick with like your heart is a precious gem it is a precious jewel your heart always wants to bust out and tell you what to do. And there are times when that is necessary. But when it comes to crucial decisions in your life that are going to have a long-term effect on you, you need to use your head, okay? Because you, no matter how much your heart may love someone or feel that feeling for someone, um, your head has to be the one to say, okay, listen up, heart. I know that you love this person, but you do realize that they live in a sewer with the rats and, and that's not compatible for you because you're up above ground in a nice, comfortable home and you're, so you're loving someone who's a sewer rat. Okay, that's fine. You know, you have a good heart, Virgo, but are you compatible? You know, and your head is going to be the one, let your head and your heart have that conversation with each other. It's not, well, do I listen to the one or do I listen to the other? No, you, you can start with your head and have your head talk to your heart and, and have them get to a place where they're on neutral ground and they both agree. And then you know, well, you'll know from your core, that's when your intuition is activated. And then you will know that the decisions you're making going forward in your life are the right ones for you. They may not be right for everybody else, but it does, nobody else matters. What matters is for you. So let your head and your heart have that conversation. Okay, um, and you need to, and that's what looking at differently is. This is gaining some wisdom because you're going, your head and your heart are going to come up with a solution that your head alone wouldn't have thought of, and your heart alone wouldn't have thought of. And there you go. Trust that intuition. The answer lies deep within you. How do you access that? Trust spirit and let your head and your heart talk to you. Wait for answers to be revealed to you, and it will be about whatever it is that you want to do in, just in general or even just in this relationship yeah um, so that you will have no regret because like I always say remorse we can live with remorse but regret lasts a lifetime and you know if there's a way to recover from the regret I mean it's hard regret lasts a lifetime and that's where like I don't know you really got to give it to God and be like, man, I regret this so much. I, I can't, I'm having a hard time with it. And you got to like just ask for forgiveness or just try to let it go. Right. Um, and tell yourself, you know, whatever decisions that you made in the past that you regret making, you 
Virgo, whatever you were deciding at the time might have been all, what you thought was the best decision for you at the time. Maybe in hindsight later it wasn't, maybe it was, but you got to be able to look back and give your, cut yourself some slack. You know, at the time, with what I had, the tools before me, and with what I knew, that decision was based on that, and I, I couldn't have made any other decision because this is all that I knew. Okay, you learn. That's part of the lessons we've learned, and you got to kind of let it go there. So I don't know what exactly that's about, Virgo, but that's the message that was coming out there. All right, let's get into the Chinese signs and see yours, theirs, both of you, or none of you. Chinese signs for Virgo and this other person. Okay. Year of the Rooster. Okay. Year of the Pig. Year of the Dragon. Year of the Rabbit. All right, we're going to go into the center here. Year of the Pig is here again. Could be two pigs, two rabbits, <laughs> and two dragons. What the heck? <laughs> okay, we've got a dog. You got a snake, you got a horse, and you've got an ox. Okay, Virgo. Interesting, very interesting. All right, let me get some names and some randoms for you. Names and randoms for Virgo. Okay. All right, definitely someone's an Aries for sure. Um, I'm picking up the name Michael. Definitely Michael or Michelangelo. <laughs> Maybe they're a Ninja Turtle. Um, okay. Raphael, RP. Um, okay. Ron Paul. <laughs> RuPaul. Okay. Initials R and P. We have the initials M as in Mary, Michael. We have an I. Okay. There's Mimi or Melissa. We have a C, the initial C. Somebody's just got a, all right, I'm seeing a tree fort. That's all. I'm just seeing a tree fort. Tree fort. And uh, somebody's taking selfies in a mirror. For sure. Lots of selfies in the mirror. Taking photos of themselves in the mirror or selfies or something. There's a lot of mirrors. Maybe trying on some new clothes, taking a picture of it. Um, Jordan. I'm hearing the name Jordan now. Or Jordana. Jordan. Let me see. Okay. Somebody works in legal. All right. Cece. Get the name Cece. And Carrie and Regina and uh, hmm okay somebody lives in England or Britain or Australia or wherever the Commonwealth someone lives in a Commonwealth okay and I'm seeing someone on a soccer field or a football field or at a game or at some kind of sports event or sports game of some sort going to one or being or they're at one i hope you're not listening to this while you're at a sporting event unless it's like baseball which is like <sighs> snoozer um okay i'm hearing jackson or jacks okay and oh mm, are you sitting under a shade tree virgo or were you recently or you will be or you do that often go sit under a tree Read a book or do something, draw, write, something under a shade tree, um, or just, I'm also picking up Flor Florida, because um, I'm seeing like an apple, or I'm seeing oranges, so wherever, I mean, it doesn't have to be Florida, I initially felt that way, it could be anywhere, wherever there's orange trees, <laughs> either orange colored or the fruit orange trees. All right, let me get... Um, some dice here for you. Okay, Gemini, Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries. Okay, we also have September 1st. 
September 10th, the 5th, the thir- uh, August 30th, um, September 4th, the 12th, um, and the 11th. And... Hmm. Um, September 17th and the 19th. It's kind of a cusper. Somebody's 54. Someone is 67. Uh, could have been born in 1954 or born in 67 or is that age, those ages. Um, okay, here's some four-digit numbers. 4503, uh, 7671. It's so funny because you guys are like, that's my phone number. I can't even believe it. I mean, if you if I call out those numbers and that's the last four numbers or those are the four numbers in your phone, like that is so much your reading, it's not even funny. Okay, August 23rd, 28th, 29th. Okay, someone's born in 1988. Um, we have someone here who's age 20, 29. Um, someone's born in six, 68 or 89, and we also have 1982, 1983, okay, let me get a couple more signs, and Pisces, Cancer, Leo, uh, double Cancer, Aquarius, Leo, Aries, Sag, okay, and let me get a charm, and then I'm going to finish out your reading, because I'm recording this in 4K, which means it's going to take forever to upload. And let me see. Oh, okay. Well, that's cute. You have a hanger. I know you can't see it. Hold on. I'll try and get it so you can see it. You have a hanger. Um, you see it? It's very nice. It's fancy. You fancy, yo. You fancy. Virgo, you got some nice hangers. Somebody might have really nice hangers in their closet, like fancy hangers. Or you see one, maybe you collect vintage hangers. Or you go to like a vintage shop, clothing store. Or you just wear, wear there. Or you maybe own one. Um, but I'm also picking up too, a hanger for an airport. Airport hanger. Um, they just said, airport hanger. Okay, some of you are also getting some new clothes. You're buying new clothes. Let me get another one here. This is also a waiting energy. Okay, yeah. So the sailboat showed up. Okay, so something here. Winds of change, Virgo. Oh, I just heard, you know what? I just heard that song. It's so old. It's called Sailing, and I think it's by a, a guy who sang it called Christopher Cross. And it's from like the 80s, and I absolutely despise that song. Can't listen to that. Because it would always be like on my alarm clock radio in the morning when I wake up for school when I was a kid. And I just, I don't know, it was always on. It was like like overkill. And every time I, if I ever hear it, I haven't heard it in years, except for right now. But every time I hear it, I'm just like, ugh, oh, I turn it off. I can't stand the song. Anyway, Sailing, Sailing into a place I've always wanted to be. So it's something like that, Virgo. Maybe you're taking a trip or you're on a boat or someone has a boat, a sailboat, um, or you're going sailing somewhere just for, you know, like a little vacation or to do something. But this is definitely transportation. This is movement. Um, there could be uh, connecting with someone that lives across the water. And you have two more things here. I'm just going to shuffle and just give you one so that I can... Make sure, okay. Oh, okay. So you've got a pumpkin, <laughs> a pumpkin patch. This is Cinderella. Hello, um, somebody's bringing you the glass slipper for the femmes. You're definitely, somebody, yeah, yeah. You're a fairy godmother, Virgo. <laughs> um, maybe like Cinderella. Fairy godmother is going to turn your dingy old wagon into a pumpkin 
beautiful magical pumpkin um, chariot of some sort your your prince or princess charming is coming in here this is a, a strong sign for some of you it's like you put pumpkin spice in your coffee in the summer or you just love pumpkin spice coffee i particularly do not but somebody here does or you love pumpkin pie somebody loves something with pumpkin okay um that just flew out of my hand there's also a message here about um the fall um, some of you, your Prince Charming and, and, and you, um, something's, got, why does this keep popping out of my finger? Your Prince, Prince or Princess Charming, um, uh, something magical happening in the fall of 2023. Um, oh, forget it. I can't pick it. It won't, it won't stay in my, in my finger here. Uh, not that I need to keep showing you, but I'm gonna, yeah, there's something that, forget it there's something magical happening and they're just like just don't tell them anymore spirit that's why it keeps going out of my finger it's not me i'm not stupid they're like it keeps falling they're, basically the message is that's a little bonus surprise something magical is happening in the fall um in regards to this cinderella story um but we're just gonna leave it there and see what comes up in the fall okay um but this is i feel like they're just trying to let you know um Okay, Virgo, I'm going to leave that there. I hope that you enjoy that. And uh, yeah, if you want to get a personal reading with me, if you're a former client, definitely book with me. I have slots open. And if you want to book with Casey or Brandy, go ahead. They're 50% off, uh, discounted 50% off, and you can get your reading like right away. So please, 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 trust me when I tell you, I've trained these two. They are very, very close to me. And I know you guys like getting readings for me. And if I'm not available for you, please don't hesitate to call on them. I promise you that you will be very, very um, happy with the reading you get with them. All right, you guys, thanks for being here, and I'll see you all back here tomorrow. Take care.